This segment will properly demonstrate the capture of 33 feral hogs using the mine trapping system. We will discuss each step of our capture success matrix in detail to reinforce 100% capture results. First, condition hogs to trust the bait site as a daily food source. Second, condition hogs to trust the corral enclosure as a daily food source. Third, use video intelligence gathered on site to select the optimum trigger device needed to capture the entire sounder. We baited this field at 1829 on 23 April and the sounder appeared one hour later. It is important to know why we selected this location as the bait site. The farmer had planted the field one week earlier and this group of hogs had already destroyed approximately 10 acres of planted peanuts. Tracks indicated they were entering the field from this location. The sounder obviously had a taste for peanuts, so we used peanuts as bait instead of corn, placing it in this strategic location. Our experience shows it is easier to condition adults into a trap enclosure when there are multiple juveniles within the sounder group. Here video intelligence revealed only one juvenile litter of seven pigs. The other 26 are subadults and adults. This important information helped us determine how to bait the enclosure. We built the trap enclosure on 26 April. Here is their initial reaction at 1900 hours on the 26th. Notice the first three to enter the trap were juvenile pigs. We hand baited 50% in front of the gate and 50% inside the trap due to the high number of adults and subadults. This gave them a chance to still feed outside while being in close proximity to the trap in order to begin trusting the enclosure. Watch the reaction of the adult sow who is the mother of the seven pigs. She is the matriarch of this sounder and extremely cautious of the situation. It is important to slowly condition this many adults to the enclosure over several days. Trappers must be patient to this conditioning process. Day 2 is 27 April and hogs arrived at 7.54 in the morning. There was still a good amount of bait inside the enclosure from the prior night. The shoats or subadults inside the enclosure learned they could eat more without competing with the others in front of the gate. Nothing negative had happened during two visits and they were beginning to trust the enclosure. This step should create a domino effect of follow the leader on the third visit. Video intel suggested the hogs were starting to commit. If so, we would capture them on day three. If not, we could wait until day four. The remote control trigger allows a human to make the final decision when the time is right. We baited only the back of the enclosure with peanuts and soured corn. We always wear rubber boots when hand baiting to hide our scent. The sounder finally appeared at 1940 on 28 April and the subadults showed little hesitation at the gate. This was a much different reaction than 48 hours earlier. The most intelligent adult sows were last to commit. Here, the matriarch is studying the situation. She does not enter the gate threshold and walked around to the back of the trap. 29 pigs are now inside the enclosure. A standard tripwire would have already triggered the door closed and missed these two pregnant sows and the matriarch. Both sows take a long time to be extremely cautious but finally submit to trust and hunger. We now had 32 of 33 hogs inside the enclosure and there was a good chance the matriarch would return for her pigs. We manually triggered the gate closed with the on-site remote. This is the reason we drive seven foot long T-posts every four feet around the enclosure. 32 hogs running at top speed 
require a sturdy enclosure and gate to hold them. This is a great testimonial to the solid construction of our mine gates. They begin to settle down within a minute after thoroughly testing all 360 degrees of the trap enclosure. The sounder is totally calm after three minutes. The nursing matriarch sow was introduced to a Hornady 165 grain bullet when she returned to the trap for her pigs. Let's reinforce the steps of our capture success matrix. Did we condition these hogs to use a daily food source? Yes, we replaced the peanuts in the field with peanuts from a bag for three consecutive evenings. Did we condition the entire sounder to trust the corral enclosure? Yes. 32 hogs entered the trap to feed on the third evening. Did we utilize the optimum trigger device? Yes. We remotely triggered the door close when 32 hogs cleared the gate threshold. Our capture percentage was still 100% because we compensated for the most intelligent matriarch sow with a rifle and bullet. This segment successfully demonstrated the capture of an entire sounder group employing the Jaeger mine trapping system. Intel gathered from on-site video was crucial to our success at this location. The next video in our series will continue to demonstrate feral hog behavior so viewers will better understand how to accomplish 100% captures for more effective hog control. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the methods and technology needed to better control feral hog populations in your area.